show you how great I am. How great I am. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Video guys, we spoke about our short-term goals. Something that's going to make a real tangible, significant difference in your life between you know now and the next five years. So it's also about how that goal makes you feel, some kind of emotion. So enjoying a vehicle with your friends and that type of thing. We've sort of gone over that. And I also said we're going to start looking at our long-term goals, our things that are a little bit longer in our life. Hello? You'll hear that, won't you? I hear Yeah. Charlotte? Can you not jump around, please? I said, can you just not jump around, please? Thank you, darling. In our last video, we started speaking about our short-term goals, something that's gonna make a you know, real significant impact in your life. How we're going to start writing them down, so I am or I have around our goals, and also the emotion that that goal makes you feel. So driving a new vehicle, sharing that with your friends, it gives it something more, uh, something that we can grasp onto, a little bit more than just a material object. Now we're going to talk a little bit more about our long-term goals or bucket list kind of things. Um, but before we get into it, I just wanted to share with you my experience and also allow you to understand that if you're feeling really uncomfortable at this stage, if you're struggling to write down your goals, then you're in the right place. I didn't realize just how difficult this was until I started uh, going through these goals with, on one-on-one -on -one sessions with people. Now, I had people that hadn't even thought about goals. They hadn't even gone through any kind of process. Uh, they didn't really know what they wanted in life. So it's a really difficult exercise. And so I, I just wanna share with you that if you're going through some really hard times in actually pinning things down, actually trying to write down your goals, then you're in the right place. And I wanna encourage you just to keep going because this is going to be an easier process the more we go through it. So hang with me. Goals are really important. If you're struggling, you're in the right place. Being uncomfortable is great. It means you're in the right place and it means you are growing. I think we often hear about this personal growth and being out of comfort zone and all this kind of thing and it sort of goes a little bit past us until we actually start sitting down and trying to do some of these exercises and then we start realizing, ah, okay, this is what they're talking about when they're saying, oh, you've got to get out of comfort zone to grow and to have this personal growth. And it's exactly what we're talking about. If you're struggling with writing your goals down, you're in the perfect place. But let's move on from that. We've spoken about our short-term goals. These are things between now and the next five years. Now we're getting into some longer-term goals. And this is where that exercise around present state and future state really comes into its own. So you need to dream big with your long-term goals. If you had unlimited finances and unlimited time on your hands, what would you be doing in your life? It could be something about, you know, traveling to developing countries and helping other people and that type of thing. Or it could be sailing on a yacht and doing your own thing and, you know, partying all the time. It's really up to you. There's no right or wrong about these goals. But what I want you to consider is that these goals can change. If you're finding it difficult to sit down and start writing these goals down and you're trying to dream big and trying to consider these things, it is a process that can be really difficult. So don't get caught up in the fact that if you write these things down, you can't change them. You can. So getting started on it is the most important thing. That will help you get more confident. That will help you get it the right language. It'll start helping you with what kind of emotion these goals can make you feel. Your goals can change. So if you are struggling to put down your goals, your long-term goals, you're struggling to really dream big and that type of thing, don't get caught up in the fact that if you write them down, you can't change them. I've had a few people when I've been doing one-on-one -on -one sessions, they're like, oh, you know, like I, I just don't know exactly what I want and that type of thing. It's okay. Just starting the process is going to allow you to start getting the, your own language. This isn't about copying someone else. It's not about copying some ideas that I have or anything. It's about tapping into you. It's the I am. It's the I am 101s. What is right for you in your life is not right for someone else. 
Everyone's an individual. So just starting the process is really important. And I really want you to consider and encourage you to think about the emotion of what this goal is going to give you when you start achieving it. It gives it a real tangible sense that you can make a difference, you will make a difference, and you are on the right path to making a difference. So just making a start, you should be congratulated for. Okay, enough about that. Now it's over to you. For the next seven days, I want you to set your alarm every morning and I want you to get up and start writing these goals down every morning. Now, I have said previously, every fucking morning. It means every morning. Every day we need to get up and we need to write our goals down. It gives us a sense of purpose. It makes us, in, well, it ensures that whatever we are doing for the day is going to make some kind of impact towards the life that we want to create for ourselves. Over to you guys for the next seven days, start writing your goals down every fucking day.